Breaking good news about the productivity of Tesla's Fremont factory. Tesla is now operating the most productive car factory in the United States, according to a new report tracking all U.S. auto factories. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily breaking Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. And give us thumbs up, please. Like this video if you find it helpful. Just a few years ago, many players in the automotive industry couldn't imagine that Tesla could become a major manufacturer. After all, it was the first US car startup to not go bankrupt since Ford. But over the last few years, Tesla has truly emerged into a major car manufacturer with an annual production rate of over 1 million cars as of the last quarter. Much of that growth is coming from Tesla's Gigafactory Shanghai, but the automaker is also growing at its Fremont, California factory. Bloomberg put together an interesting tracker of production at some of the biggest auto plant in North America and Tesla's Fremont factory takes the number one spot. First is Tesla's Fremont factory in Fremont, California with 8,550 cars a week. Second is Toyota Motor Corporation's Juggernaut in Georgetown, Kentucky with 8,427 cars a week. Third is BMW AG Spartanburg Hub in South Carolina with 8,343 cars a week. By the way, I live only about two hours from uh, Spartanburg, California, uh, South Carolina. I live in Charlotte, North Carolina, and it's a beautiful company. They have nice tours in the company. Well, I remember when I was a uh, MBA student years and years ago, uh, they took us to a trip and to see the productivity and the efficiency of BMW's Spartanburg hub. Uh, fourth is Toyota's Princeton factory in Indiana with 8,200 cars a week. And fifth is Ford Motor Corporation's Kentucky truck plant with 7,600 cars a week. In times when most car makers see their production going down amidst this virus and the subsequent supply chain shortages, Tesla actually managed to increase production at Fremont factory. Combining the two trends, Tesla Fremont factory has managed to take the top spot. Uh, you can see that in Bl uh, Br Brandon, uh, Bloomberg's article for an interactive version tracking all the factories. Tesla is also apparently more efficient efficient with its use of space at its factories. In square feet, test Toyota has almost twice the space as Fremont factory, but produces about the same number of vehicles. You know that in Fremont factory, Tesla has become so efficient that it's even built a temporary assembly line in a tent to continue the production and to do the ramp up of the production. Tesla is known as the one of the most vertically integrated automakers as market as makes a lot of parts in-house, which helped the company grow during the supply chain crisis. At Tesla's last shareholder meeting, CEO Elon Musk said that Tesla plans to still grow at Fremont factory. Of course, the automaker is also building a bigger, almost 8 million square feet factory in Gigafactory, Texas, and we're getting some really good news coming from Texas, beginning the production of uh, Model Y at Texas. Giga Texas is expected to be even more efficient with Tesla building the new Model Y using its single piece rare front casting parts and structured battery packs as electric. Tesla has previously indicated that the new factory could produce 1 million vehicles per year once it reaches full production. That's almost 20,000 vehicles per week, per week versus today's 8,550 cars a week in the Fremont factory. So Tesla is now operating the most productive car factory in the United States. I don't know about the statistics in the glo in the entire globe, but if you guys know who is the most productive car factory in the world with the most production unit per week, let me know, friends, in the comment section below. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage because I bring daily breaking Tesla news to this channel. And also give us thumbs up, please. I would greatly appreciate it, sharing social media, and let's move on to our next Tesla story.
We just learned that Panasonic is investing a lot of money to build Tesla's 4680 battery cells from 2023. According to a Japanese media report, Panasonic wants to start serious production of the new 4680 battery cells for Tesla in the course of 2023. For this purpose, Panasonic is expanding its plant in the Japanese prefecture of Wakayama and in, in integrating new systems for the mass production on these new details. As I'm about to tell you more details, please uh, subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. According to a new report, Panasonic is investing $700 million to produce Tesla's 4680 battery cells at a factory in Japan by 2023. Tesla is preparing to start production of its first vehicle using 4680 battery cells, a new tabless battery cell in a bigger format with new chemistry unveiled in 2020. If you remember, Tesla did it on September of 2020 at its battery day. For the first time, the automaker plans to produce its own battery cells to support its electric vehicles. However, Tesla is going to need so many battery cells that it is also partnering with current battery suppliers to deploy their own production versions of the new 4680 battery cells. Panasonic, Tesla's oldest battery partner at the Gigafactory in Nevada, has tentatively announced that it would be deploying a prototype production line for the new 4680 battery cells. Later, Panasonic's new CEO Yuki Kosumi said that it is pre prepared to make a large investment in production in producing Tesla's new battery cells if test production proves successful. In October 2021, the Japanese manufacturer um, unveiled its own version of 4680 battery cells developed with Tesla. Now, a new report from Nikkei Asia claims today that Panasonic has green-lighted an 80 billion yen, which is 715, uh, $705 million investment at its Wakayama factory in Japan to produce the 4680 battery cells for Tesla. Panasonic didn't want to comment on the report and said that it is still focused on its test production. We are studying various options for mass production, including a test production line we are establishing this business year. We don't, however, have anything to announce at this time. You see, Panasonic Panasonic, that was a quote from Panasonic. You see, Panasonic's uh, information is about focusing on this during for this business year, they said, this business year. But uh, Nikkei Asia says the ba battery is going to come next year, but Panasonic says we don't, however, have anything to announce at this time. So probably it's based on in insider reports. The report said that Panasonic was planning a production output of less than 10 gigawatt hour at the plant. This is not much, but still significant at an average pack size of 60 kilowatt hour that's enough to produce 150,000 vehicles per year you know tesla may probably do this in a month that means tesla will probably produce 150,000 vehicles in a month considering they plan to do about 1.5 to 2 million vehicles this year however it is anticipated that Panasonic could also deploy new production lines for the 4680 battery cells at other factories, including potential Gigafactory in Nevada, where they already have something going on with Tesla, where the company already produces 2170 cells for Tesla's Model 3 and Model Y vehicles produced at Fremont factory. Along with Panasonic, LG, Samsung, and Cattle have all also indicated that they aim to produce 4680 battery cells for Tesla, along with its own battery cell production, which is being deployed at Gigafactory Texas, at Giga Berlin and Shanghai. Tesla said that it will buy every battery cell it can from suppliers for the foreseeable future. So what do you think, friends? We hear that we learn from Tesla that these batteries are more energy dense. They are going to give your Tesla more range and the specs will change. So are you going Going to order Tesla today or are you rather waiting to hear until these batteries are deployed with new Tesla? This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. Give us thumbs up. Share in social media, guys. That really helps me. And let's continue the discussion in the comments section below. God bless you, everyone. Peace be with all of you. And let's move on to our next Tesla story.
Tesla Cybertruck yesterday was spotted being offloaded in Gigafactory, Texas by Tesla. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TalkNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. So recent footage taken of Gigafactory, Texas has revealed that Tesla has brought over its all-electric pickup truck to its new headquarters. The arrival of the Cybertruck at the Giga Texas site comes just new images of the vehicle's alpha prototype were shared online. Simon Alvarez and Joe Techmeyer have the details. Uh, Joe, uh, during his flyover, said Cybertruck arrives at Giga Texas on January 23rd. It appears that it, this is part of Tesla's financial results presentation upcoming on January 26th. Should be an exciting meeting with lots of product and timeline updates. You can see the arrival at 1040 in his video. I will have the link of the video in the description of this video, friends. So consider that Tesla CEO Elon Musk is expected to announce several product updates this coming fourth quarter and full year 2021 earnings call. The arrival of the Cybertruck at the Giga Texas site, Giga Texas factory, seems to be well timed. It would be quite interesting to see exactly just what Elon Musk's product update would be like. However, considering that Tesla's earnings call are typically conducted as an audio conference. Interestingly enough, a couple of photos showing the clearest look yet at the Tesla Cybertruck's updated Alpha prototype also emerged recently. The images showcase several of the changes that have been implemented to the Cybertruck's physical design, from its now removed door handles to its massive single wiper blades. The vehicle's front end also seemed to be shortened slightly paving the way for an extremely massive mi mi um, windshield. Tesla's earnings call will be held on Wednesday, January 26, 2022, after market closes. So we're going to look forward to it and we're going to bring you the latest on Tesla's earnings call. I'm sure there's going to be lots of questions about the timing and the production of Giga, Tax Giga Texas, Giga Berlin, the Cybertruck, the expansion at Giga Factory, uh, Shanghai, and also uh, lots of other things, and especially about the semi-truck production update and the $25,000 Tesla new affordable vehicle about which I reported the rumors yesterday that were very detailed, giving those rumors a lot of credibility. So what do you think, friends? What are your expectations? Uh, Maybe there is a question, I think, for the earnings call, somebody should add this question. How far along is Tesla on redoing the wiring for Model 3 and Model Y, where they shorten all the wires and use a 40-volt battery for the electronics? Um, so let me know your thoughts, friends. What do you think about the Cybertruck? I probably will have another report on the Cybertruck today because there are some more up-close images. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Have a wonderful rest of the day. God bless you, everyone. Peace be with all of you. And let's move on to our next Tesla story.